Cordova in history. Cordova is a city with over 5,000 years of history, whose starting point traces all the way back to the Calculithic time frame, 3 2000 years BC, arriving at extraordinary snapshots of magnificence as capital of the Roman Baetica territory and the Caliphate of Al-Andalus. Its area along the Guadalquivir River, close to Sierra Morena, made it an essential settlement and a correspondence connect between the south and the north of the Iberian Peninsula. The pre-Roman Corduba was situated on the Cerro de los Cuamados, Cruz Conde Park, on a somewhat slope, which permitted the two its safeguard and control of the stream, the fundamental way out of the mineral separated from the mountains. The mining and agrarian abundance permitted to pass from a town of lodges dated in the final bronze, Ix 8 BC hundreds of years, to a core of metropolitan undertones effectively in the orientalizing time frame, VV BC hundreds of years. After the fall of Tartessos, the Cordova Tertitana stayed coordinated in the business circuits of the zone, monitoring a specific chain of command. The appearance of Rome was not a rough break with the current living space, indeed, the conjunction of the Tertitan town close to the Roman camp has been shielded, that later would lead to the conservative city, situated to 750 meters to the Ney. The significance of the last was concentrating the populace until it turned into the solitary possessed core from the 1st century BC. Because of the civil war among Caesar and Pompey, Cordoba endured incredible obliteration, yet immediately acquired the courtesy of Emperor Augustus, who made it the capital of the territory of Baetica under the name of Colonia Patricia. A time of wonder started, as confirmed by the extension of the city, the arrangement of the primary structures for shows and frameworks for the assortment and departure of water, the marbling and enrichment of public and private spaces, including necropolis, which made Cordoba a little duplicate of the capital, Rome. From the 3rd century AD, Cordoba recuperated its unique name and started the first changes in quite a while metropolitan physiognomy wherein, maybe, could impact the impacts of a quake, the development outside of the compositional complex of Cercadilla or its conceivable arrangement as head of the Hispaniorum ward. The political strict pre-greatness of Cordova needed to lessen towards standards of century VD. C. when Hispalis turned into the new capital of the Betica. During the time of Visigoth control of the city, late 6th century, mid-8th, the fundamental curiosity will be the presence of a completely merged Christian people group, which will have its appearance in a design emerged in different houses of worship and basilicas. The Islamic presence from the year 711 was the start of certain political, strict and metropolitan changes that led to another model of city. La Medina kept up its physiognomy, with steady fixes of the walled fenced in area and new frameworks, among which the development of the Mezquita Aljama, which, alongside the design of the Almunias and the primary edges of suburbia, would shape the premise on which the Cordoba Caliphal, 929-1031, would be created. The burst of the fake emblematic and propagandistic establishments on which the Caliphic state was supported happened around the year 1009, at which time the fitna, common conflict, started, which went on until 1031. The historical backdrop of the Kirtuba during the realms of Taifas and the time of Mastery Almohadi, with the exchange of the funding to Seville, stands out from the significance known up to that point, that conclusively finishes with the Christian success of the city in 1236. Conservative period. Archaic exploration and composed sources appear to affirm the conventional thought that the Roman Corduba was established in the mid-2nd century BC by General Marcus Claudius Marcellus, after a significant stretch of conjunction among pioneers and troops with the old native settlement situated on Colina de los Cuamados, current Park Cruz Conde. The new Corduba decided for its area a characteristic porch effectively defendable. Put around 750 meters upper east of the Tertitan core, and isolated both by a few streams that streamed into the future waterway Betis, this new settlement slowly captivated the number of inhabitants nearby, which at last caused the surrender of the old Tertitan oppidum. The new city, which mints its first coins with the legend Corduba around about the years 80 to 79 BC, quickly thrived on account of exchanging, to the horticultural valley assets, to the control of the waterway port, as the stream was traversable to its actual doors, and particularly to the mining abundance of its mountain, which finances the success and favors the enhancement of the first Cordobenses' family lines. 
It is preposterous to expect to decide at which time the primary scaffold is made, likely of short-lived materials, however there are sufficient contentions to feel that it harmonized around with the new establishment. Toward the start, the Republican city involved just the highest point of the slope that actually shapes the focal point of the advanced city. It is a basically level surface, insured by articulated inclines besides on its northern side, where a cautious canal of incredible width and profundity was arranged, and by the channels of a few streams. Its arranging follows the attributes of italic urbanism, with a walled border gave towers and an ordinary metropolitan street network represented by the Cardo and Decamanus maximums, situated to the four cardinal focuses, and coordinated in blocks, insulae, of 2 by 2 actus, in other words, 70 by 70 meters. As a solitary component, the new Corduba had two Decamani Maximi, one of which was the passageway to the walled nook in the east, and another was the exit plan towards the west. This arrangement was most likely planning to build up the famous character of the space saved for the discussion. The main proper clearing of roads, the establishment of a viable sewers organization and the principal monumentalization of houses and public structures have not been archaeologically distinguished until the early 1st century BC. Up to that point the city would have kept a specific camp angle, with structures essentially underlying stone, wood and mud. The structure of this first divider ought to have started around the mid-2nd century AC, by passing a complete space of roughly 47 hectares. It was formed by a thicker external mass of around 2 and 3 meters wide, made of enormous calcare night obstructs and furnished with semi-roundabout pinnacles, finished, Later on, with some other rectangular, an agar or reduced incline made of waterway stones, brickwork and mud, around 6 meters wide, and a regulation divider beneath, somewhere in the range of 0.60 and 1.20 meters wide. On its western side, this divider followed a practically rectilinear way, which fitted the waterway course of the Arroyo del Moro, utilized as a canal. It likewise fit the geography, which goes inclining tenderly towards the southwest. As we said previously, on its western and northern sides, more helpless, a counterfeit canal of 15 meters wide and four profound was fabricated. The eastern front ran along the center of the slope, characterizing this side of the town. At last, the southern segment of the divider is less notable, as it was destroyed after the development of the city towards the stream. Since its inceptions, Corduba had a metro and great focus, which was a reference place for its occupants from a strict, political, lawful and authoritative perspective. This was the Forum of the Colony, situated around the conjunction of the current Gongora and Cruz Conde roads, and around 4 meters somewhere down according to the current floor height. Despite the fact that its last appearance stays obscure, a few burrows and information highlight the possibility of a long and arcaded square cleared with dirt. Its reality, just as the part of Corduba as the common base camp of the Praetor, as equity was administered from here while government issues were addressed, is recorded by composed sources since at any rate 113-112 BC. Cicero, in Ver, 2, 4, 56. Generally, its area agrees with the resulting Forum of Augustus, albeit this was more modest and was crossed, on its eastern side, by the Cardo Maximum, following the open or incorporated discussion model that was normal at that point. It would have been directed by a principal sanctuary that would have facilitated, maybe, a few fluted shaft sections, cut in nearby stone, reused a very long time after in the southern divider. Composed sources affirm the presence of a basilica at any rate since the mid-1st century BC. At last, there was perhaps an early admittance to the gathering from the north through a victorious curve, overwhelmed by a portrayal of Victoria. In general, we have scant data about spots of love in the Republican Corduba. Under the Casa Carbonell, the remaining parts of segments of very nearly one meter in width and Doric Tuscan capitals were unearthed years prior, deciphered as having a place with a potential sanctuary. Assuming this is the case, it more likely than not been encircled by a colonnade that would have honored the Cardo Maximus in admittance to the city from the south. Its order would vary between the late 2nd and early 1st century BC. Concerning, the most seasoned realized remaining parts allude to mid or late 2nd century BC. They were based on an establishment made of rocks, with rises of adobe and or mud, soil or rock floors and vegetal rooftops, as indicated by the native propensities. 
Inside, the adornment in dividers was restricted to level tones, particularly red and dark. Toward the start of the principal century BC, dividers made of stone work, rooftops made of tegulae, creation signinum asphalts with white limestone or quartzite tesseras, and more brilliant divider compositions begin to get normal. In these early days there were still no reservoir conduits to bring running water, so the water supply came from wells and storages. We don't have a lot of data identified with the funerary rituals right now, perhaps on the grounds that the primary graveyard spaces were covered under the city extension towards the south in the Augustan time frame. This can be intuited through some archaeological discovers, like the conceivable funerary landmark of Muria, destroyed before the development of the theater, 15 BC to 5 AD, and recuperated under the establishment of its cavea, or the ionic shafts with plaster found in the space of the Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, which might have had a place with a late conservative edicola. Up until now, the most seasoned great follows recorded are the rectangular nooks from the principal half of the 1st century AC recognized under the entombment hills of Puerta de Gallegos. Every one of these cases were found near the city entryways, along the main correspondence ways. The scant information known as of recently allude to italic impacts inferable from the principal homesteaders. In the mid-1st century BC, the common conflicts among Caesar and Pompey's children, that would end the Roman Republic, shone up to Cordobesian lands. Corduba favored one side for the Pompeian side, and subsequently it was assaulted and annihilated by the soldiers of Caesar and 22,000 of its occupants were put to the blade. From that point forward, the city encountered a time of emergency that would last years and years, until some political moves figured out how to acquire the courtesy of the new princeps, Octavius Augustus. Relegating loads of grounds, he figured out how to introduce in Corduba an extraordinary number of veterans from the conflicts in the north, in the interim he raised the lawful status of the city to Colonia, and added the Patricia Patronymic. Thanks for watching. Bye now. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to life is often if you haven't already click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.